Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Julio Reyes with Absolution Water uh, and let's do another math problem. And the problem reads like this. How much water is required to charge a pipeline that is one mile long and has a diameter of eight inches? Provide the answer in cubic feet and in gallons. Typically you're not going to be asked to provide the uh, answer in cubic feet and gallons. I just included the gallons in there just for the sake of further uh, exercise con conversion practice, okay? So uh, this one here is pretty straightforward. They're not always straightforward. Uh, we need to find out what the volume of a cylinder is because that's what a pipe is. So the volume of a cylinder is 0.785 times the diameter squared times the height or the length. Okay, and all of the units of measure have to stay the same. So um, we can start by dropping down the 0.785 because it's already given to us. And let's take a look at what we're given in order to calculate the diameter. We're given that the diameter is eight inches. Well, we can't use those eight inches because everything here is gonna be in feet. So we need to convert those eight inches into feet. Now, a lot of us would just say, well, just divide by 12, and you can very easily do that. Uh, but if you follow my first video about conversion, you'll see why I like to keep those units of measure. So as, as simple as this might be for a lot of us, Let's stay with our, uh, the new uh, skill that we learned in the first video about how to convert those video, uh, how to convert those inches into feet, okay? So it's eight inches over one, and we know that there are 12 inches to one foot. So I'm gonna multiply by that fraction, and I'm gonna put 12 inches is to one foot. Now my inches are gonna cancel out. And I'm left with eight divided by 12. And our units of measure that are left are feet, which is 0.67. And then I can plug that into my diameter. 0.67 is my diameter squared. And it says that the pipeline is one mile long. So there, one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. So I'm just gonna plug that right in here. Times five, two, eight, zero. And then now I'm just gonna simplify this expression. 0.785 times 0.67, and again by times 0.67, times 5,280 is gonna equal, and by the way, these are all in feet, 1860.6 cubic feet. So now we have our answer in cubic feet, but now we have to convert this into gallons. Another opportunity to exercise our conversion skills, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this whole number into a fraction. How are we going to do that? We're just going to write it over one. And then remember the conversions we're always, we're not going to worry about if we're multiplying or dividing. We're always going to multiply by a fraction. So I'm just going to say multiply by that fraction. Over here I know that there are 7.48 gallons for every cubic foot of water. And so I can see that my cubic feet are here and so I want to cancel them out. So I'll put them on the bottom, which means this empty space, I have to put my 7.48 gallons there. And so you can see that these cubic feet are gonna cancel out very nicely. And I'm left with gallons as a unit of measure. And all I have to do is multiply 1860.6 times 7.48, and that gives me, I'm gonna rewrite it down here, 13,917.29 gallons. For more videos like this and other resources, visit our website at www.absolutionwater.com. The answer for water professionals.